Kevin Robinson was an East Providence native and a BMX legend, maybe the best rider of his generation. So his son is part of the next generation of riders doing some amazing tricks, as you can see on two wheels. The wheels, by the way, seem to rarely be on the ground. Unfortunately, K. Rob Sr. not here anymore to see his son compete, but his legacy lives on in K. Rob Jr. I could ride a bike and stuff ever, like since I was like three years old, like without training wheels. And the man that first put Kevin Robinson Jr. on a bike was his father, Kevin Sr. The East Providence native was a professional freestyle BMX rider and Guinness Book of World Record holder, widely recognized as one of the best riders of all time. And he knew early on his son would possibly follow in his footsteps. So my, my son, Kevin Jr., he already, he, he was just jumping a 20 foot gap on this wow. ramp down in Pennsylvania. That interview, a little over a year before Kevin Sr. died suddenly from a stroke in December of 2017. Now, almost four years later, 15-year-old K. Rob Jr., one of the top-ranked BMX riders at his age in the entire country. What's the craziest thing you've done on a bike? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe I did it like a 720 over this uh, big box jump. Yeah! <laughs> so that's definitely up there, along with a uh, backflip on like this uh, mega ramp. We recently met up with Kevin and his mom Robin at the skate park in East Providence dedicated to her late husband. Do you feel like you're reliving uh, life that you had with uh, your husband and now doing it again with your son? Yeah, I almost feel like my life's work is to follow someone named Kevin riding a bike on a ramp. You say, well, I want to be like my dad or do you want to take it to the next level? Of course I want to be like him, but I, don't, I think that I have a different style than he does, so I don't know, we're just different riders, I think, but of course I would like to be like him and his achievements I would like to match. Or better? Or better, or better, yeah. How hard is it for him without his dad being here to guide him, guide him through this journey? Yeah, at times it can be difficult for him. I think sometimes Kevin feels a lot of pressure. I remember when he was still here, he just felt like Kevin was kind of a natural. So from the time he was young, he just felt like Kevin had amazing bike control. And if he were to be here now to see him, you know, four years later with Kevin who's riding all the time and uh, really trying and putting a lot of effort in, I think he'd be shocked, but not shocked all at the same time. It, it definitely would be nice to have him here to see what I can do, but I'm sure he's watching. I just know that he's like around and he's in my presence. How is this on a mother's nerves, watching your son flip through the air on a bike? Um, I think, unfortunately, I'm kind of trained at this point, 20 years later. I'm pretty trained to not be incredibly nervous. I'm nervous, but I also know Kevin is really, like, he's pretty cerebral, so he thinks a lot before he tries things, and he's pretty cautious, even though it doesn't appear he is, but he's pretty cautious. He's only comfortable doing something when, you know, when, it, when the time is right. What a great kid, a great family. Kevin Jr. will be heading out to California next month to compete in another national competition, the Sky, which is a place Kev spends a lot of time, obviously, as you just saw, is certainly the limit for this kid. We'll keep you posted on his, uh, his career, I guess we'll call it now.